Coyote Culture is presented by the Cheyenne River Predator Hunters and TS Customs, precision firearms built for success. This is one of my favorite spots to call. It's just a, a nice open bottom leading right up to the river. Little prairie dog town on, on it. You've seen me call it tons of times. I don't I usually like to call this spot by myself because it's almost guaranteed a coyote every time. And I don't, you know, I don't want to miss out on any footage for you guys. So we'll see what happens. I kind of want to shoot a coyote today. Came over here first time all year, so I bet it'll be pretty good. Let's. Uh, I was gonna start it out with some some low cottontail stuff and switch over to some prairie dog. So let's see what happens here. Well, that was pretty cool and kind of sucked at the same time. They both come from like right over here, straight this way. I've never had them come that way before. I wasn't expecting it. That first one was like straight down below me. I had a hell of a time getting down there. Luckily the swaggers kind of got let me get down low. The second one, he seen me move, just try to shoot him. So he was pretty cautious. I had a hell of a time getting him stopped, but that was pretty damn cool. Double down. Probably one I shouldn't have got. Then both those coyotes are not being very cooperative. I'm not real big on doing interviews anymore, but I um, just wanted to talk about this little call I got here. This is the uh, Lucky Duck Roughneck. Um, built for more run and gun style of hunting. Uh, it's really small. It's probably about half the size of the Revolt and uh, packs all the power though. It's a nice little unit. Really, really sturdy. I'm not gonna throw mine around like the Lucky Duck guys did because <laughs> my luck it would break, but they've done some throw, throw tests with it and stuff like that and it seems to hold up pretty good. But nice pair of coyotes. This is a probably a, oh, probably your Two and a half year old female and an older male so that's pretty awesome this spot here is is just a coyote producer but I suppose it's a really nice day it's
Christmas Eve. I'm gonna go home and do some stuff around the house, get some brownie points, and hopefully get a little, do a little bit more calling over the over the um, Christmas break and next few days. So, well, got those puppies loaded up. Thanks for watching, Coyote Culture. Did a horrible job getting snuck in here. This stand should never work, but I'm running out of daylight. Let's see if we can't get one called in. Well guys, that was about a horrible set. I freaking broke the microphone on the camera on the way in here. I uh, dropped my gun, my sling swivel come unlatched. <laughs> it's about dark, I knew I didn't have much time, but hey, we made it work. We got one down over there. They're howling the beat heck over there. It's Christmas day. Um, didn't have a lot of time. I went up and had dinner with the family and everything and on the way home decided to make a quick set in this place that we, we've called a few coyotes in here before, but that was pretty awesome. Looked like a younger coyote, but we'll take him. Um, <clears throat> anyways, it's getting dark on us, so I think we might go get that coyote. Let's go see what we have. I was looking all over for him. <laughs> here he is right here. A little coyote, kind of like I figured. Nice one though. Let's see what she is. That's a female. A little male. A little male coyote. Well, like I said, it's Christmas day. I kind of got on the highway and hauled butt down here, trying to get a stand in before dark. And what do you know, sure enough, got one. Coyote almost come in straight downwind, but had enough side angle on me to cover my butt. We'll take it, I kind of figured they'd come from that way, but it's okay to call side winds like that. They don't hurt nothing, as long as you're careful and have your gun pointed that way, kind of like I did. So just be prepared if a coyote shows up on top of the hill, you better be shooting, because they ain't gonna stick around long. Next time on Coyote Culture. Lonnie gets a call from a rancher having some problems with a group of coyotes. They have a rough start to the day when a couple coyotes come in downwind. Oh, I didn't see him right here. Then Damon gets a single. You know, I love hunting coyotes. And a workout. Dragging them to remind you how out of shape they are. <laughs> That's on the next episode of Coyote Culture.